Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Hi Mathematics and today we have a really interesting question x square plus y square equal to 2009 and we need to find the thumb x plus y. Right now you can easily pause the video and try to solve this challenge right now by yourself. You can also write your suggestion down into the comment section and we will check our answers here in just in just three minutes. So it will be it will be really interesting for us to check our school knowledge, to check our algebra skills. Okay, first of all, let's look closely what do we have right here. We have 2009. And let's write this 2009 right here. So we have 2009. And 2009 we can express it as a product of a lot of a lot of values, but in the same way we can easily divide it by 7. So 2009 can be divisible by, by 7. As a result, when we divide it by 7, we have 287. Really great. And this 287 also can be divisible by, by 7. Okay, so as a result, we have we have 41. And right now we have 7, 7 and 49. So uh, 2009 can be expressed, let's write it right here. So 2009 can be expressed as 7 times 7 times 41. So 7 times 7 and times 41. Or saying in other words, it's better for us to express it as 7 square, okay, 7 square times times 41. Really great. And right now, because of this 7 square, and we feel right here that we have a thumb value to the second power, we can write a substitution, okay? So our substitution looks like that. So our substitution looks like that. x equal to 7m, let's look like that, and y equal to, for example, 7m, okay? And I hope you understand why I take 7, because when we raise x to the power second, and in this case, 7m to the power second to the second power as a result we have 7 square times m square it will it will help us a lot because then we can easily cancel this 7 square just look at this step right here so first of all I have a substitution x equal to 7m let's plug in instead of x let's plug in 7m first of all let's write our expression x square plus y square equal to 2009 and right now let's let's plug in instead of x let's plug in 7m and 7n let's do this right now so we have 7m to the second power plus 7n squared equal to 2009. And I hope you see right now that if we raise 7m to the second power, we will have like the next thing. We will have 7 square times m square plus 7 square times n square. And right now let's go back to this expression. 2009, this is the same as 7 square times 49, 41. 7 square times 40. 41. Right now, really great moment. 7 square, 7 square, and 7 square. We can easily we can easily cancel this expression from both from both sides. From this side right here and from this side on the on the left and on the right. As a result, we have m square, n square, and 41. So as a result, what we will have? We will have m square plus n square equal to 41. And uh, there are a lot of approaches. How can we solve this? How can we solve this uh, equation? But I want to mention that really one really interesting moment. We have two values, m and n. And I want to say that doesn't matter. Uh, we are talking about integers. We are talking about negative values. All the time we have two positive positive values. So right now we are talking about the table of squares. Saying in other words, if we look closely, we have right here one square equal to one. We have two square equal to four. Yeah, we have three square equal to 9, 4 square equal to 16, we have 5 square equal to 25, yeah, this is like a classic uh, school table, we have right here 6 square equal to 36, yeah, 7 square equal to 49, and I guess we don't need more, we can easily write it, okay, 8 square equal to 64, and a lot of these uh, table cases, but we can easily solve this challenge by inspection right now, because m square and n square equal to 41. Right now, let's try to find what values, if we're talking about addition, gives us 41. Let's do this right now. So, uh, 9, 4, no, right here, 9, 16, 25, not good, 25, 36, uh, this is like a bigger number than 41, maybe I'm not interested in this, like uh, let's go 36, maybe 9, we have 45, 36, 4, we have 40, uh, okay, okay, right here, 16, 25, oh, 16, 25, if we add it, so 16 plus 25 equal to, equal to 41. But in the same way, 16, 4 square, and 25, 5 square, okay? So we can, we're going to consider the first case right here, okay? The first case. When m equal to 4, oh, let's go with yeah, m equal to 4, 
and n equal to n equal to 5. And when we're going to plug in this m and n right here, we, as a result, we will have 4 square plus 5 square. Okay? 5 square equal to, equal to 16 plus 25 equal to 41. Yeah. So m equal to 4, n equal to 5. Really great. But it also can be the second case. In the reverse way, n equal to 5, n, n equal to 4, and m equal to 5. So the second case, m equal to 5, and n equal to equal to 4. Really great. Right now, let's gonna plug in. We have 5 square plus, yeah, absolutely the same thing. We have addition, so it doesn't matter. Uh, this to this one, or this expression we added to this one, doesn't matter what we will have. As a result, we have the same, the same 41. Really great. But we solve this challenge right now according to m and n. But in the beginning, what we had? In the beginning, we had x squared plus y squared equal to 2009. And where do we have the substitution right here? We had the substitution, looks like that, yeah? So from here, let's write once more the substitution. So x equal to 7m and y equal to 7 n. Right now, let's gonna plug in m and n. So we have like two pairs, uh, two pairs of solution right here. Okay, let's do this right now. So let's split it. And right now, the first case, m equal to 4 and n equal to equal to 5. We know that x equal to 7m and y equal to 7n. But we know that x equal to 7m and y equal to 7n. So as a result, our x equal to 7 times m, we have 28. Yeah, and our y equal to 7 times 5, we have, we have 35. 35. Really great. And right now, the second case. But one really important... Okay, let's, let's solve it, but I'm going to show you a really great trick right here. And uh, the second case, m equal to 5 and n equal to, uh, n equal to 4. But uh, the same thing. But the same thing, but we have the same, the same substitution. So from here, x equal to 35. 35 and y equal to 28 but why we like don't need to solve this challenge in this second interpretation because in the beginning we had x plus y so we need to find x plus y we need to find the thumb and if we add this x plus y or in this first case equal to 28 plus 35 as a result we have 63 and if we do the same thing right here x plus y equal to 63, the same 63 because we add absolutely the same expressions. So right now, let's write our final answer. So as you can see right here, doesn't matter what exp what uh, approach do you prefer, first one or second one, right here, we will find x plus y. We don't need x and y uh, like separately, yeah? We need our sum. But maybe someone interested in, in uh, this x, x plus y, so we can easily write our answer. So let's write our answer, x equal to 28, y equal to 35. Our first pair, next pair, x equal to 35, and y equal to 28, our second pair. And if we are talking about x plus y, our question that we need to find, x equal to 63, x plus y equal to, equal to 63. Because we need to find it in the beginning, okay? x plus y, we need to find it in from the beginning. And this is our answer to the challenge. This is my solution to the challenge. We can also go through the steps real quick right here. So the first and key moment right here to, to look at this substitution, because obviously a lot of this type of question have the, the square. So this expression on the right side can be expressed as a square. Okay, so as a result, we have square, 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 and uh, as a result, we can find this substitution with this value, which contains this 2008, and then we will we will cancel this 7 square, 7 square, and 7 square, which helps us a lot, because, for example, we can easily find this value by inspection, we can easily find this according to these tables of squares, but on another side, if you look closely, we have 2009, so it's really hard to find x square and y square, so in your mind, of course, if you know uh, this table, you can easily do this. But in our case, it's much better to evaluate the expression when we, you have 41 on the right side, okay? And then we can easily, we can easily express this m square and n square according to this, according to this table. And one really tricky moment in this question, we need to find x plus y, so it doesn't matter. First approach or second approach, we are talking about a sum. So it doesn't matter, uh, 28 plus 35 or 35 plus plus 28. Okay, this is our solution to this challenge, x, y, 
xy and the sum x plus y. So I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new. You can also write your, your solution down into the comment section. Maybe you hear your approach. It will be really interesting to read about it because there are a lot of teachers, a lot of students who watch my, my videos and of course they are interested in, in approach of uh, maybe different people uh, like uh, solve this challenge by their own or yourself or yeah, they write your their suggestion into the comment section and it's really great to read a comments and of course if you have your approach it will be also really interesting to to read about it to read your solution into the comment section it is it is really great so thank you for your time i hope you learned something new but definitely don't feel bad if you get this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel maybe more than 200 videos with different math questions every day so i hope you will enjoy it and if this video is helpful in any way don't forget to like and subscribe and that definitely help me out now for this particular video so thank you for your time have a great day see you in the next videos